Patrick, I put this quick video together to help answer any questions about this 2026 Model Y. Let's check it out. Opening the door pretty straightforward. Stick your thumb out, push the door, and then you can kind of pull the handle like so. So we're sitting inside of the car now, and you're wondering what I do next. How do I turn on this car? The car is always technically on and ready to go for you but you do have to essentially start the key to put it into drive. So reaching down here, uh, we got our key card. The ignition is essentially here by putting the key card. And all you have to do when that's on there, <clears throat> or if you have your phone paired up, you just hit the brake. You'll see the car wake up. And right now it's on, ready to go essentially. So there's no gear shifter in this 2026 Model Y. You have to either slide forward to go into drive or reverse to put it in reverse. Ignore my uh, garage. <laughs> um, and then you just have to put it into park. So that's the main things there. The AC is pretty easy, straightforward to use. If any of these menus get in your way, you can kind of swipe down, swipe over. Click the temperature. It'll pull up the screen here. And this is always super cool with Tesla's, but you just drag this around to change the airflow where you like it. You can split it apart if you don't want to blow it on you directly. The 2026 model here even has an oscillating fan mode. Um, and you can either press up and down here or slide this to change the temperature. Do auto or fans, and then we have our heated and cooled seats here. So pretty straightforward there. Oh, and in the event of a biohazard attack, we do a biohazard defense mode. If you have some kids in the back, there is a secondary screen located right here. Um, you can fully control the screen from the driver's side. A uh, kid wants to watch Danny Go or Bluey. Um, simply go in here, you can adjust their fan seat controls but under here video youtube netflix whatever you like you can even pair your own bluetooth headphones to this screen um, to keep the noise separate at this time there is not a way to stream both audio in the front and the rear from two different sources you either have to pick front or rear so pretty straightforward there you do have a customizable light bar all around the car if you'd like to personalize your trip a little bit. Click the car, go to lights, accent lights, click here, pick whatever color you like. Maybe you want it pink, orange, nice sunsetty vibe, or just a nice blue. A lot of the uh, unlocking is done here. You tap this to open the rear hatch, and you also can click here to open the charge port and this for the frunk go ahead and do all those to show you oh brake pedal pick so we're in the back of the car oh how do I open the trunk just right under the camera is a button directly just push it trunks gonna open um, I have it set to only open so high in my garage so it doesn't hit but Looking in the trunk, underneath here is some extra storage. The car has no exhaust on it, being electric, so you have a whole nother uh, storage compartment down there. And automatic up and down folding here. You just press this button. In the front, we have our charger here, our mobile home charger for the 120 volt, and then I do have an adapter for some charging ports there is another adapter i don't put in the car that one is rather more expensive um so an extension cable if you are staying on pace with a power outlet and you like it to be more convenient wanting to charge the car you've either gotten to a supercharger or you've plugged in that mobile charger pretend it's a little remote just click it out the car press this button here and it opens the hatch plug in the car it will Turn from blue to green to let you know it is charging. Bam, just like that. Little Easter egg for you. Click the button 10 times. One, two, three, four. 10. We get the RGP light show. Tesla's have lots of fun little animations like this. 
getting the car fully adjusted for your height, go ahead, click the car symbol. We have a glove box open, adjust mirrors. You're going to use a scroll wheel to scroll up and down. Um, click over the right one, back, save it. And steering wheel, do the same up, down until you're comfortable with it. In the rest of your app icons, click the dots here. You have all these shortcuts. Um, I do usually recommend if you've never driven a Tesla before, jump into the toy box. Um, this is nice to do while you're charging, kill some time. Get lots of fun little menus to play around in there. Um, such as making your kids sound like they fart. Hey! Steering wheel is pretty straightforward. Uh, you got your blinker stock. Press this to engage the windshield wiper and sprayer, brighties. Um, clicking this will turn on your cruise control, full self-driving, um, voice activation, cameras. You got front and rear. I hope that did answer some questions for some people out there. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Have a fantastic day, all right? Bye.